Hello everyone, this is Ankur Chaudhary and in this video presentation, I will be covering current affairs from India and across the world as they happened in the month of May of 2017. Now these are the broad categories that I will be covering during the course of this presentation. First is news from awards and honours. Next, business, politics, economy and finance, people in news, sports and lastly, miscellaneous. So let's first take a look at uh, various important news in the section of awards and honors. Firstly, Hollywood actor Emma Watson, who is very famous for her role as Hermione Granger in Harry Potter series, she picked up her the first ever genderless acting award for the best actor category at the MTV Movie and TV Awards. Now, this was a unique award because all the actors males and females they were competing under the same category and not separate categories as is done traditionally so mtv movie and tv awards they had the first genderless acting award and actor emma watson won the award next sanjay pratihar a scientist at tezpur university was chosen for the prestigious indian national science academy medal for the young scientist award for the year 20 17. Now the Young Scientist Award was founded in 1974 and has been under the ages of Indian National Science Academy since 1981. Next, Andhra Pradesh Chief Minister Chandra Babu Naidu was selected for the Transformative Chief Minister Award by the US India Business Council. Now he has won this award for promoting relations between India and US at the level of various states. Next, comedian actor Kapil Sharma and Baywatch star Priyanka Chopra will be honored with Dada Sahib Phalke Academy Award for 2017. Now, it is very important that you understand that this is not the same award as the Dada Sahib Phalke Award. The Dada Sahib Phalke Award is given yearly for lifetime contribution in the world of cinema by the director of film festivals which comes under the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting. However, the, the, this particular award that we are talking about, that is Dada Sai Falke Academy Award is given by the Academy. Next, Indian scientist Srinivas Kulkarni won the prestigious Dan David Prize for his contribution in the field of astronomy. The Dan David Prize is given for uh, research and achievements in the field of astronomy. This has been founded by the Dan David Foundation, which is based in Tel Aviv University in Israel. Next, the President of India presented the Hindi Sevi Samman Awards for the year 2015. The awards were instituted by Central Hindi Institute, Agra. This is very, very important. In 1989, the scholars received awards in 12 different categories for their contributions in the field of Hindi language and literature. Next, Munnar which is, a, which is Kerala's popular hill station with sprawling tea plantations and winding lanes won the award for best destination for romance at the Lonely Planet magazine Indian Travel Awards 2017. Next, Satyabrat Raut, a professor from Department of Theatre Arts, SN School of Arts and Communication, University of Hyderabad, was awarded the Sangeet Natak Academy Puraskar for the year 2016. Now the Sangeet Natak Academy Puraskar is given yearly by Sangeet Natak Academy in India. It is the highest honor given to performing artists in the country. Next we look at some important news from the world of business. Firstly, in its earning report for the quarter ending April, Apple revealed that it has 256 billion dollars in cash which is over two-thirds of India's total foreign exchange reserves. Next, Facebook launched Express Wi-Fi in India along with partnership with Airtel to launch 20,000 new hotspots. Now, Express Wi-Fi is an initiative by Facebook to enhance regional internet connectivity across the world. Next, 
Delhi based BSNL which is an Indian state owned telecommunications company it signed agreements with Facebook Mobiquick and Disneyland India to commemorate World Tem Telecommunication and Information Society Day which is celebrate every year on May the 17th next the Gujarat Cooperative Milk Marketing Federation GCMMF which markets is its products under the brand name of Amul it signed an agreement with ISRO that is Indian Space and Research Organization for fodder acreage assessment using satellite observation and space technology now the satellite images from ISRO will be used by Amul for gauging how much of land or cultivated land is under fodder or that is food material used by the cattle next in order to promote entrepreneurship in the country, the government of India has amended the definition of a startup as it had defined earlier. Now, the age of startup has been increased from 5 years to 7 years. In case of biotechnology companies, that age is 20, 10 years. Next, there is no requirement for a letter of recommendation for startups to avail tax benefits extended by the uh, government. Now earlier a letter of recommendations was required for these startups from uh, incubators or other uh, corporate associations. Next the criterion for potential of job and wealth creation has also been relaxed to become more favorable to startups in the country. Next Paytm unveils the Paytm Payments Bank becoming the first bank to offer cashbacks on deposits. Also, customer will be offered zero charges on all online transactions and no minimum balance requirements. In the next section, we will be covering major news from politics. The much awaited Real Estate Regulation and Development Act of 2017 came into force from May 1st with a promise of protecting the right of consumers and ushering in transparency. Now earlier it was believed that there was a lot of information asymmetry between the buyers of houses and real estate developers. This particular bill seeks to bridge that gap. What it does is it makes it mandatory for real estate developers to be registered with uh, bodies at the level of center and as well as the state government. Also the money collected from the flat buyers or house buyers 70% of that money is kept in a single account which is, uh, which is monitored by the government to ensure that that money is used only for construction purpose and not diverted to some other projects as it has been happening earlier. Also the developer will have to give all the details of their projects and make it public on government websites. There are many such conditions which make which tilt the favor back towards the uh, home buyers. Next, the HID minister launched Vidya Virta Abhyan to encourage 1000 educational institutes to display portraits of war heroes on campus. Now the idea is to develop appreciation for the martyrs or uh, the soldiers who have shown valor on the battlefield and these portraits would primarily or primarily be of Paramvir Chakra winners in the past. Also this will not be a central government funded scheme however the institutions themselves will be allocating space and spending money to put up these portraits. Next the union cabinet gave its approval for the national steed policy 2017. The policy projects crude steel capacity of 300 million tons MT stands for million tons production of 255 million tons and a robust finished steel per capita consumption of 158 kgs by 2030-31 as against the current consumption of 61 kgs which is quite low. Next the uni union cabinet gave its ex post facto approval to the MOU on third li line of credit line of credit is nothing but a loan which is of uh, 4.5 billion dollars extended to Bangladesh for implementation of developmental projects. Next we look at some important international and national news in the world of economy and finance.
Firstly, the RBI, that is Reserve Bank of India, announced that it will reconstitute the Oversight Committee under its AGs to operationalize the banking ordinance for resolving the issue of bad loans that have soared to over rupees 8 lakh crores. So another proactive move by the RBI to tackle the menace of rising non-performing assets or bad loans in the country. Next, the Union Cabinet gave its approval for allocating 2.5% of the Central Road Fund for the development of the National Waterways. Now the Central Road Fund is a statutory fund created in the year 2000. Now under this for every liter of petrol or high speed diesel that is purchased in the country per liter rupees 2 is contributed or put into this fund that is Central Road Fund. This particular fund is solely used for development of roads that may be national highways, state highways, rural roads, etc. Now, out of this huge fund, 2.5% will be now utilized for the development of national waterways. Next, the union cabinet gave its approval to raising of bonds. Raising of bonds. Now, this is nothing but a way of raising money from the public of rupees 2360 crores for renewable energy. These bonds will be raised by the Ministry of New and Renewable Energy through the Indian Renewable Energy Developmental Agency during 2017 and 18. Next, the Union Cabinet gave its approval to the phasing out of Foreign Investment Promotion Board that is FIPB. FIPB is a body which gave approvals for the FDIs if the FDI was coming through government approval route. Now this particular body will be eliminated and this work will be done now by various ministries, various concerned ministries of the government of India. Next we look at some people in news. The World Health Organization appointed superstar Amitabh Bachchan as its goodwill ambassador for hepatitis in the Southeast Asia region. Next 39 year old Emmanuel Macron was elected as the president of France thus becoming the youngest president of the country and the youngest leader of France since Napoleon Bonaparte. Next, Justice Leela, the first woman judge of Delhi High Court, passed away at the age of 86. Now, Justice Leela said broke many awards, the most prominent one being she was the first woman chief justice of a high court, that is of Himachal Pradesh. Next, South Korea elected Moon Jae-in, a human rights lawyer, who favors dialogue with its foe, that is North Korea, as its president. This is after Ms. Park gyun hye was removed from the post of president due to corruption charges. Next, Justice Retired Mukul Mudgal was elected as the head of FIFA's Governance Committee at the World Football Governing Body 67th Congress in Bahrain's capital of Manama. Next, Prabhat Kamal Bezbarua and MS Bojegoda were appointed chairman of the Tea Board and the Coffee Board of India, respectively. Next, Mr. Amul Thapar became only the second Indian American judge of an appeals court with the United States Senate, com confirming his appointment to the Cincinnati based Sixth Circuit Courts of Appeals. Next, Union Environment Minister of State Mr. Anil Madhav Dave sadly passed away at the age of 60. He was a member of parliament from the state of Madhya Pradesh. Next, Miss Anshu Jam Senpa, the Arunachal Pradesh mountaineer, scripted history by becoming the first Indian woman to conquer Mount Everest for a record fourth time. Next, senior bureaucrat Mr. Anurag Tripathi was appointed as the secretary of the CBSE, that is Central Board of Secondary Education. Next, we have a new Prime Minister in France as well. So, French President Emmanuel Macron appointed Mr. Edouard Philippe as the France's new Prime Minister. Next, in a rare fate, a young Indian IS officer, Mr. Holyanlal Gwite, who hails from Manipur, published a book titled Confession of a Dying Mind, The Blind Faith of Atheism. This is a book on philosophy. Next, a, pro a prominent bureaucrat and policeman in the India has sadly passed away. Former Punjab DGP, that is Director General of Police, 
popularly known as KPS Gill, died at the age of 82. He was the DGP, that is the leader of the police establishment in the state of Punjab, when the militancy in Punjab was at its peak. He is credited to have formulated the strategy to suppress the militancy in Punjab. Also, he headed the operation to flush out terrorists from uh, the Golden Temple, the operation being Operation Thunderbolt. He was also a Padma Shri winner. Next, Reliance Industries Chairman Mr. Mukesh Ambani topped the Forbes list of global game changers, especially after the launch of RGO and its various attractive plans. Next, Sir Roger Moore, the suave English actor best known for playing James Bond and Simon Templar in the Saint TV series, died at the age of 89. Next, the World Health Organization appointed Dr. Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus, the former Ethiopian health minister, as its first ever director general from Africa. Next, we look at some important news from sports. Firstly, Arjun Mani, the driver for Genzer Motorsports, created history by becoming the first Indian driver, this is very important, to win a GP3 race. Next, the Indian national football team scaled further heights to break into the top 100 ranks of FIFA rankings. Now, this is the first time that India Indian football team is in top 100 after 1990s. Prominent Indian woman cricketer Miss Julan Goswami became the highest wicket taker in one day internationals that is 181 wickets in 153 matches breaking the world record held by Australian fast bowler Catherine Fitzpatrick. Next, three Indian women wrestlers Miss Sakshi Malik, Divya Kakran and Vinesh Fogat settled for a silver medal each in their respective weight categories at the Asian Wrestling Championship which were held in New Delhi. Next, Bengaluru FC were crowned champions of the 38th edition of the Federation Cup after they defeated Mohan Bagan of West Bengal in the final match. Next, India's C.A. Bhavnani Devi won the gold medal in the Sabre event of the Tarnoi Satellite Fencing Championship held at Reykjavik in Iceland, thus becoming the first Indian to win a gold medal in an international fencing event. So this is what makes the news very important. So Bhavnani Devi is the first Indian woman to win a gold medal in an international fencing uh, event. Next, Indian women's cricket team openers Ms. Deepti Sharma and Poonam Raut became the first ever pair to share a 300 run stand in a one day international as far as women's cricket is concerned. Next, Indian off spinner Mr. Ravi Chandran Ashwin won the coveted International Cricketer of the Year Award at the C8 Cricket Rating International Awards in 2017. So lastly, we take a look at some important miscellaneous news items. First, Dubai has become the first city in the world to get its own Microsoft designed font. The typeface comes in both Latin and Arabic script and it will be available in 23 languages. The officials of the government of uh, Dubai have, have been instructed to use this font in various official documents. Next, a global cyber attack called ransomware crippled nearly 100 countries including India by stealing a hacking tool called Eternal Blue from the NSA that is National Security Agency which is a powerful military intelligence unit based in USA. Next and very importantly, International Court of Justice stayed the death sentence given to Kulbushan Jadav by Pakistan military court on charges of spying. Next, India was unanimously elected as the president of the UN Habitat. It is an organ of the United Nations organization which focuses on promoting socially and environmentally sustainable human settlements across the world. Next, the center has declared the state of Assam as a disturbed area under the provision of the act called AFSPA, which is Armed Forces Special Powers Act for more three more months, citing various violent activities by insurgent groups like ULFA, NDFB and others. Next, 
India has successfully launched the South Asia Communication Satellite, also known as GSAT-9, which is fully funded by India and, is just, and it is touted as an invaluable, invaluable gift to its South Asian neighbours, which would provide communication and disaster support to the region. Next, the Supreme Court sent, has sentenced a sitting judge, C.S. Karnan of the Calcutta High Court to six months of imprisonment, holding him guilty of contempt of court. Now, this is the first time that the Supreme Court has punished a sitting judge in the country. Next, the Strategic Anti-Naxal Operations Command Headquarters of the CRPF has been shifted from Kolkata to Chhattisgarh. This is in light of more than almost 40 CRPF Jawans being killed in the state of Chhattisgarh in the past three or four months. Next, the world's highest railway bridge, which is 35 meters taller than the Eiffel Tower, is to come up over the Chenab River in Jammu and Kashmir. The bridge will connect Bakkal in Katra, which is in Jammu, and Kauri in Srinagar. Next, the World No Tobacco Day was observed across the world on 31st May. Next, the political instability continues in our neighbour, that is Nepal. Prime Minister Pushpa Kamal Dahel, that is Prachanda, has resigned from his post. Next, Hassan Rouhani, the moderate president of Iran, has been re-elected as the president again. Next, DIPP, that is Department of Industrial Policy and Promotion, will now process the applications for grant of license for manufacture of defence items in the country. Earlier, the Home Ministry was carrying out this exercise. Next, the centre has banned the sale of cattle for slaughter at animal markets across the country. This particular uh, decision has of course created a lot of controversy and created a lot of hardship for various industries in the country, for example leather and so on and so forth. Next, the Prime Minister inaugurated India's longest bridge which is spanning 9.3 kilometers across the river Brahmaputra. It connects Dhola in Arunachal Pradesh to Sadia in Assam. So I hope you find this presentation useful in your preparation. Thank you very much.